Wala ang birthday. Pity girl them would tell them Me now go deep and never I was always a person who is very creative, fun. I don't do rules, rules is not me. Stephanie Williams, a woman who marches to her own beat and dances to her own music, literally. At 29 years old, she is making strides in the dancehall music business and is an entrepreneur. Despite her modest upbringing, like many, Stephanie longs for fame and fortune, and she is bold and determined enough to go after it. But when that quest takes a dangerous turn, can she escape the fire that burns? August 24, 2023 seemed like it was going to be a normal summer day. Stephanie was in her usual element. She was chatting with her sister who lives overseas on a WhatsApp video call as she put on her makeup. As the two chatted as sisters usually do, she put on a pair of black pants, a black blouse. She chose a pair of black shoes to complement her outfit and the finishing touch was a green cap. Where was she getting ready to go? To a video shoot in Ocho Rios, a town located on the north coast of Jamaica. So says her sister Shanice, who was on the video call with her as she got dressed. I remember while we were on the phone, she said that she has, she has an appearance to me as a video shoot. But she says she's not going to be in the video show. She's just going to network. But she has a studio session. That's the information that she that was presented to her. In a hurry, Stephanie told her sister she had to go, and there she was gone. Two years, three years from now, I will be a big star, and I'll be international. Mama, me tell her that. Yeah, because the work I'm putting it in normal. That was Stephanie responding to an interviewer's question about the future. With the stage name Medic, she had great plans for the future. But now, there is a ticking clock. And with every second that passes, it becomes more and more difficult to believe that those plans will ever become reality. Stephanie Williams has not been seen or heard from since that very day, August 24, 2023. According to her mother, Stephanie didn't have a car at the time and would normally be picked up. Um, the, the fiancé normally sends a drive for her. And she had this friend there, you know, that will pick her up. But Video footage from her St. Andrew apartment confirms that she was picked up as usual. And word is that the once mystery driver who came to pick her up on the day she vanished is no longer a mystery. But the police have not come public with who the driver was months after her disappearance. We don't know what we do make a lot of noise when we do investigation. We investigate and then we speak after.
This is somebody where me know she a fuck. Like, me know she stay. Me know she she not gonna just get up and just go out or just let herself kill. It's like, you know, she's not a street person, but at the same time, she ain't a soft soap or idiot. On October 8, 1993, Millicent McCurdy welcomed a baby girl into the world. She named her Stephanie. At only 16, Millicent made an early entrance into the world of motherhood and was about to take on the struggle of fending for herself and her newborn. I got pregnant at 16 years old! <laughs> Stephanie, I suffered with Stephanie. I suffered with Stephanie. I didn't have food to eat. I am not from West Milan, you know. But I went to West Milan with my friend. And while I was there and I got pregnant, I have no one. I have to do any type of work. Not meaning to go and sell myself because guess what? I grew up in church, so that is out of it. If somebody there and say, come, I need some help. You want to come and help me wash? I said, yes. I don't used to that. If somebody called me and said, you want to help me press? I said, yes. But I still don't used to that. Because I do this to help my daughter. And I remember there's a particular time when I'm ready to have the... the uh, and I'm, I want to go to the hospital. People, I don't even have money. I have to walk from Endon in Sablemar to the hospital. I struggled. I struggled. I struggled. Millicent would eventually bring two more daughters into the world. But this story is about the one who makes her heart race, Stephanie who from an early age seemed to love to live on the edge, even from her time as a high school student at Petersfield High in Westmoreland. Back then, she would secretly listen to music her mother forbade. So, I pray for my daughter, Stephanie. I pray for her because she's very, very stubborn. stubborn. Pray for her, I pray for her. On the day Stephanie went missing, Millicent had a conference call just after noon with two of her girls, Stephanie included. I spoke to her on the 24th of August. Uh, in the, I think it was, it was after 12 in the day. Sorry, my daughter merged calls with her and we were there talking on FaceTime and she was there smiling and we they were there talking and talking and I said to her, I'll call her back. I'll call her back in the afternoon. It like after five, she said, Mom, I'm getting ready to go out on the road. I said, call me back because I need to talk to you. She said, okay. Anyway, she didn't call me back, but I remember vividly the night before I went to bed because I always pray for my children and I always, always pray for them because I know that we're living in that dark world and this world, you know, it is selfish. No, nobody loved no one right now. That was unseen. And I, when I went to bed the night, after night, I lift my hand, my right hand to God. And I said, God, I am not a mother that's supposed to bury none of my children. They are the one who's supposed to bury me after nine. And then I said to God, Mr. God, I come against every untimely death. It's like, you know, when I, when I, when I, when I speak in that word, it's like, you know, it, 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 I feel like it's not coming out and I have to push it out. I said, God, I come against every untimely death. And I start pray for Stephanie. Millicent says she knew something wasn't right when she got a call after midnight from someone, a male, she says, who said he was trying to reach Stephanie. It was then that she made a call to Stephanie's phone, but the phone did not ring. She even sent messages and got no response. This led her to believe that something was wrong. It has not been disclosed who the male was who called minutes after midnight trying to reach Stephanie. After 12.34, I got a call before the is trying to reach out to her. And, you know, when I look at the call, I said, you know, I, I, I tried to call back Stephanie. And when I tried to call her back, I 
that time. The, f- um, the, no, the phone didn't ring. I sent her a message. I said, no, you know, something wrong. So anyway, when I, I tried to call her, a point that I started calling her. When morning came and she still hadn't heard from Stephanie, she continued to call and send messages. In the morning, I still calling her, send her a message of her life. One tick on it. At the moment, something really wrong. So I tried to call my, my, my daughter over here and said, um, um, I'm not getting the truth to, truth to Stephanie. Something wrong. She has a friend in Kingston. And I called the friend and I said, yes, I'm going to go and check Stephanie's apartment because we're not getting to Stephanie. What's something wrong? I called another friend. I said, um, I wanted to go with that lady and see what was happening. Um, so they didn't have a key. So the, 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 the strata for the, for, the, for the complex assisted um, last minute. So when they, they went in and Stephanie wasn't there. I said, no, man, that's something wrong. I said, you need to go to the police station and report that she's missing. And I am calling her phone. Everybody calling her phone and there's nothing, 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 nothing at all. Stephanie's disappearance opened up a can of worms. A video shoot that never existed or was it scheduled for the next day? Either way, Stephanie left for a fake video shoot. A fiancé whom no one in her family has ever seen, who is said to be her road manager operating from a questionable location and friends that have sealed lips. Another worm let out of the can is that Stephanie's relationship with her partner was anything but peaches and cream. She would call us me or my sister and complain or she would text us and complain or if uh, knowing that my mom is spiritual or whatever she would call my mom and my mom would just pray for her she would just say mom pray for me or whatever the relationship how he's controlling our Hello, don't argue, but we look past that because that's relationship, but otherwise, we should have to be on our phone with him most of the time, most of the hours for the day, and like, she did, sometimes she just wants a peace of mind, and she would like, take call on her phone if she's like uh, if we were eating at the table and we ha- her husband then you call on her phone and start arguing or whatsoever <laughs> to be honest from the moment we know about him from a couple months this year Officially 2017, but I have a music background. I was like a choir girl, but what? you know, yes, I was. You sing in the choir? Yeah. Church choir? Mm-hmm. Mom church. Church right, of so God. You know, mommy, I listen right now. Say, so, you know, she has said, yes, tell them, say, so you used to sing for the you church. Heard, <laughs> you used to sing in the church choir, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things, a lot of things happened. A lot of things happened, <laughs> and here we are now. You're doing your own thing, and you go by the stage name, Medic. Yeah. Right. Why, why, why that name? Why that name? Okay. Well, I was going to the university. Um, I was doing nursing. I also was um, I switched um, to pursue medicine because my mom wanted me to be a doctor, right? But I was always a person who is very creative, fun. I don't do rules. Rules is not me. So you know, I started something like that (laughs) so you know i started doing music because that's something i love that you know it brings out my passion it brings out who i am so you know i was like yeah medic Medic. on my way to my first performance guys i am like just dreading it right now medic made her entrance onto the dance hall scene in 2017 she is known for songs like boss bitch Proud Matey and Waistline. 
In the past, dancehall artists have used gimmicks for publicity, from tattooed eyeballs and horn implants to fake pregnancies, and the list goes on. On January 3, 2023, the star published an article about a female artist who was sporting a new figure for the new year. Do you remember? Yes, that was Medic. At the time, there were some people who hadn't even heard of Medic, and her new figure certainly sparked conversation on social media, and some people did not hold their tongues. Despite her love for her daughter, one thing is for sure, Millicent was not in support of the path Stephanie chose. She had raised her in the church, so she loathed that the thought of her daughter plastering skimpily clad photos on the internet and singing raunchy lyrics. In fact, the disagreements caused many arguments between the two. I want my daughter in a boat this music thing and I'm so listen little girl so this is it's all what I'm seeing out there is just darkness when my when I see my daughter on social media and how she attire I said to her get her off of social media and I speak to her very stern and hard and she'll she'll get upset with me I know that remember you know when there's a return age they're not gonna they're not gonna sit and look, look, she's not living with me so there's there's no way I can fight her in the way I, I, I yes this is what I want for her this is what one for herself. This is a photo of 20 year old Stephanie in 2013, before she became dancehall artist Medic, just a young girl who loved makeup and had big dreams. She was a university student and a true entrepreneur at heart. Stephanie had a YouTube channel showcasing her makeup skills and she offered makeup services as makeup medic. Even back then, Stephanie might have been a rebel, but could it be that there was a particular patch in Stephanie's life that drove her down the very path her mother so despised? I'm a very technical person. I am nice and jovial, but when it's business, it's business for me. Anyways, I want to start off talking about skin and I want to talk about Reborn Holistics serums. Oh my gosh, miracle workers. It is evident Stephanie was serious about her career as a DJ, but she was also serious about her natural skin and hair product line under the brand Reborn Holistic. Stephanie worked hard and her efforts were paying off. She managed to get her products in stores across the awesome. island. And it's also anti-aging. Um, it has worked miracles for my skin, um, especially with texture, because um, I do have acne prone skin. But... Yeah man, she sell deodorant. She sell deodorant. She sell um whole pop natural stuff. She make them and I she make them too. Uh, I'm sit down and watch. She make them with her hand. She make them, mix them up and make them up by herself. She get the stuff them research and make them herself. I don't remember the name of her company. Right, because she sent out the stuff them island wide all over the place. Mm hmm. But she's a cool person. Whilst the police have not provided a lot of details regarding the case, this is what Assistant Commissioner Fitz Bailey had to say in a press conference on October 6, 2023, regarding the matter. 
I want to reassure, in particular the mother, I have spoken to her personally, that her mother is not neglected. We continue to focus on it and we will pursue all leads and, and use all the resources that we have to um, bring conclude closure because I think everybody wants closure to their case. I just want to point out that whilst we cannot tell an individual how they should live their lives, but one must be cautious with the type of relationship that they engage in. And in that particular matter, we believe that certain instruction was issued by a convict within a penal institution. And we are, we are doing our probe, we are continuing our probe because we want to bring closure to the matter as well. I want to appeal to the public, if they know anything about that matter, uh, to contact us at 811-311-119. I, I, there's no crime that is committed without someone seeing it. So I appeal to our good citizen and people of conscience to reach out to us and, and tell us what you know. Stephanie Williams is a daughter, a sister, an aunt, a friend. If you know something, please say something. You may contact the Constant Spring Police at 876-924-1421. Help bring Stephanie home. I'm tired of getting up every morning, posting my sister over social media every morning. I'm tired. I just want my baby home. I am begging it to be because if they know they are aware about <laughs> please contact me. They have a number out there on the media. <laughs> I just want my daughter. All I want is my daughter. <laughs> If you have a story that you would like us to tell, please email us at hbnewsja at gmail.